hello everyone in this video we will discuss about the questions from chapter 3 which is the questions from 3.6 pressure in liquids and gases we'll take the first question which is submarines are ships which are designed to go underwater explain why submarines that go to the deepest part of the oceans must be very strong now in order to answer this we need to have an understanding of what causes pressure in liquids so i have a simulation here in this uh, we can find what is the pressure at any point using this pressure gauge so this is reading in terms of kilopascal now if i put some water in this tank we can see that there is increase in pressure in the pressure gauge so let let me fill this tank completely now i'll take one more pressure gauge now i will try to uh, see how pressure varies with depth now in each now i am at the surface of water now at the surface of the tank the pressure is zero and if i go deeper the pressure increases so the pressure will be larger at the bottom of the tank compared to the top of the part top or middle part of the tank this is because the weight of the water which is above this particular point is pushing it down causing a larger force being applied on this part of the tank that's why if you go deeper the pressure increases now let's go back to the question so we have to explain why submarines that go to deepest parts of the ocean must be very strong the answer is the pressure increases with depth in water so submarines must be very strong to with withstand this pressure so that we can minimize the damage on the submarine so that's the answer for the first question now the second sub question is explain why the wall of a dam is thicker at the bottom than at the top now the reason is the same so the pressure will increase with depth so the pressure experienced will be larger at the bottom of, of the of the dam compared to the top of the dam so the bottom of the dams are built stronger so that's why the dam is thicker at the bottom compared to the top let's take the second question the sketch graph shows how the pressure in liquid changes with depth in liquid explain the pattern shown in the graph now there's a linear increase in pressure with increase in depth so what we can write is the pressure increases with depth or we can say uh, pressure is directly proportional to depth which implies if the pressure if the depth increases the pressure also increase now, second sub question is copy and complete the sentence using the best word use the information in the graph when the depth in liquid doubles the pressure in liquid also doubles so the answer is the pressure in the liquid doubles third question is an mcq a fish is in water the water exerts pressure on the fish which of these causes pressure on the fish write one letter the first option is the weight of water beside the fish second is the weight of water all around the fish third one is the weight of water above the fish the fourth one is the weight of water below the fish the answer is option c which is the weight of water above the fish now remember pressure is exerted due to the, due to the water which is present on the top of the particular point okay pressure the pressure is exerted due to gravity so this all the water which is on the top of it is being pulled towards the ground and the weight of the water causes this pressure let's go to the fourth question marcus plays basketball the ball is filled with air explain what causes pressure inside the ball i take one more simulation to explain this now we have to understand what causes pressure uh due to gases so let's 
fill in some gases in this container. Now I have a pressure gauge here. So you can see that if the number of collisions increase, the pressure increases. So I'll put more gases into it. I'll take a mixture of gases. So I have smaller particles, I have larger particles. So if I increase the number of particles, there'll be larger number of collision and that causes increase in gas pressure. If I fill in more particles, you can see the pressure gauge is increasing. The needle, the pressure gauge is going up, which means the pressure is larger. Now we'll go back to the answer. So the an answer to this is the particles in the air inside. Okay. So we have to write it in a proper sentence. So you can say the gas molecule, the collision of gas molecules with the inside surface of the container causes gas pressure. So the container which we have here is a ball. So we can say the collision of air molecules with the inner surface of the ball causes gas pressure or pressure inside the ball. Now explain how putting more air in the ball will change the pressure inside the ball. Now the answer is again very simple. We'll reset this, right? Currently we do not have any particles inside this box. Now I'll try to add particles. Observe what happens to the pressure gauge. Now, if I put more particles in, if I put more particles, there'll be more number of collisions with the walls of the container. If the collisions are larger, then the pressure exerted will be larger. So the answer to this question will be, if the number of particles increase, then the number of collisions will be larger and that in turn increases pressure inside the ball. So you can write it like that. Third question is, Marcus notices that pressure inside the ball is lower on cold days and higher on a hot day. Explain why the pressure inside the ball is higher on a hot day. To solve this, we need to know what will happen if I increase the temperature of the chamber. Right now, the temperature here is 300 Kelvin. So the standard international unit of temperature is Kelvin. We can even change that to degree Celsius. So this is 27 degree Celsius. 27 degree Celsius is the room temperature. If I heat this container, okay, I'm providing more heat. Now observe what is happening to the velocity of the molecules. So all these particles are going faster, which means there'll be more number of collisions with the walls of the container. If the collisions are more, then we can say the pressure increases. Now we can see the gas pressure is increasing. If I increase the temperature now after a certain point, the lid goes off. So let's return the lid. Let's pump in more gas molecules. Right now, right now, uh, the pressure is 129 atmosphere. I can change it to kilopascal. So this is 13,000 kilopascals. So if I cool it down, the pressure decreases because the speed of the particles decrease. If I increase the temperature by providing it more heat, the speed of the particles increase. It will gain more kinetic energy and the pressure inside the chamber increases. So this is the answer to our question. So the particle moves faster at higher temperature. The collisions with the inside surface have more force and occurs more frequently. So that causes an increase in gas pressure at higher temperatures. Now let's come to the last question. A metal container is connected to a vacuum pump. The vacuum pump removes all the air, all the air from inside the metal container. There is now vacuum inside the metal container. Explain why there is pressure. Explain why the pressure in vacuum is zero. Now, we already know what pressure is. Pressure is collision of gas molecules with the walls of the container. Now, if I remove all the gas molecules, right now, Look at how many collisions there will be. 
now if i remove all the gas molecules okay i'll reset this so if there are no gas molecules there will be no collisions if there are no collisions then there will be no pressure so pressure inside the uh, inside the metal container when there are no gas molecules will be zero because there will be no particles to collide let's look at the second sub question the metal container collapses when there is vacuum inside explain why let's say we have a metal container and there are no gas molecules inside now i'll do one thing i'll take a look at the gas molecules which are outside the container so of course there will always be air around us so these molecules will collide with the outer surface so the all these molecules will collide with the outer surface so this will hit this hit this and there will be collisions of gas molecules on the outer surface so this causes a force inwards so there will be a force acting like this because of the collisions but there are no gas molecules to balance this so if there were gas molecules inside the container these gas molecules would have you know nullified the force which is coming from the outside so the resultant force would be zero since there are no gas molecules in this container because we used a vacuum pump to pump out all the gas which was inside there will be an unbalanced force and this unbalanced force will cause the metal container to collapse 